Next, let's see Hibs' latest attempt at getting themselves away from the bottom of the SPL. They played League Cup finalists Kilmarnock at Rugby Park. The best of the action with Paul Mitchell. James McPink on to Griffiths. Griffiths has a nice pass taken down by Tom Soares. That's a great finish from Tom Soares. It's his first goal for Hibs and he finishes this really well. Taken down, let it bounce and cracked it past Cammy Bell. 17 minutes gone at Rugby Park and Hibs have been struggling in the SPL and ahead. Work to do for Kenny Shields and Jimmy Nicholl. As they defend the free kick, Frankham curls it in and clips the crossbar. Lovely effort from Frankham bending down, but just not enough. Well, Kelly have lost only one of the last six at home in the SPL. It was a defeat to Dunfermline. Behind here, Hibbs moves forward. Soares gets it thrown to Lee Griffiths. Griffiths with a chance for 2 0. Bell with a save. Soares with a header. Didn't get enough power on it. And Cammy Bell was able to recover, but again, Hibbs finding great space. Lee Griffiths, the inspiration. Cammy Bell with a save, and Soares needed more power. Dayton pulls the ball back to the box. Simple header away. Claros launches it long. Lee Griffiths, that's brilliant from Griffiths. Another chance for 2 0. Cammy Bell with a save again. And James Fowler is there. Well, Claros, it wasn't a hit in hope, he knew where Griffiths was. Great control by the Hibs player. And that's a good save. Claros, high in the air. Nelson comes off, breaks down onto Roy O'Donovan, who finds the top corner at the start of the second half, and the Hibs fans are delighted. It's a first Hibs goal for Roy O'Donovan. It broke his way, and with a shot, Found the top corner past the stretching bell. Corner played in deep. Nelson is up off the line. George Frankham. Excellent play from Nelson, but Frankham was there. Well, Lee Griffiths has been at the heart of things for Hibs today. Pushed across. Osborne. That's deflected. Tom Soros is there, and it's three. Well, Hibs scored three in midweek and lost today. They lead by three goals to nil and look set for three points at Rugby Park. Osborne drove it across and Soares, great finish. James Fowler realised the danger, but Soares made him pay. Two very unhappy Irishmen. Dean Shields moving forward. Shields loses out. Pushed back by Doyle. Claros was short. Kujabi goes in, that's a free kick. Referee Stevie O'Reilly. Dean Shields taken out by Kujabi that time, made connection with the player, not the ball. Dean Shields will be favourite to take this. Shields, great finish! Well, Kelly have won the last three matches, he's scored in. This may only be a consolation, but that's great skill from Dean Shields. Curling it all the way, and Graham Stack, little chance. Fowler out wide, Kilmarnock still trying to attack, little shove there as the ball comes across. Sent behind, maybe been a push in the middle as Heffernan's header was deflected. Kilmarnock saving their best for last. Doyle goes in, sliding challenge. Once again, the ball flipped forward by Bouse. Might come back towards him, McPake going in. There was one or two shouts for a penalty as it's flipped across. Well, McPake and Dean Shields clearly disagreeing. It did come across the striker. Might have been a little bump in the back, but Stevie O'Reilly was satisfied. Well, Hibbs scored three goals at Fair Park on Wednesday night, and they didn't get anything from, from that game, as you gleefully recall. Um, they scored three yesterday, which mattered much more, and it sounded from what I was listening to on BBC Radio Scotland yesterday that, that defensively they looked a whole lot tighter, and, and they ended up winning with a bit of comfort. Yeah, well, 
they've been a tough start the last week, haven't it? You know, they lost five against Celtic. They, they came to Fir Park and lost four. So yesterday was a huge game for them, you know, to see what sort of character the team has. Um, I know Pat made a few changes to the side and, you know, a little bit of luck from, from Roy O'Donovan. Maybe the Hibs fans and the players will tell you they've been lacking a little bit of that this season. Of course, the league table doesn't lie. You know, they haven't been probably good enough in some games, but sometimes you need, you know, something just to change your fortunes and you know, maybe that's just done it for them. And Roy O'Donovan will be telling you that he meant that as well. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a tackle, to be honest, but listen, Rob, when they go in, strikers always claim they meant things. So two players there scoring their first Hibs goals. Interesting to look at the lineup from yesterday and to look at the, the number of new players. Six of the starting 11 brought in uh, either on loan or on permanent deals by Pat Fenlon in the January transfer window. And if you add Lee Griffiths, whose loan was extended during that spell, that's seven out of 11. There's a whole new look to Hibs and, and on the evidence of yesterday, it's starting to work. It's a tough time in January to try and bring one or two players in, never mind bringing six or seven into your first 11. You know, you're trying to get a squad together, you're trying to get a system, you're trying to get a formation, you're trying to get information to players. So, you know, you can really understand why it's taken a little while for players to understand what Pat Venn is trying to get across. They've got injuries, suspensions going on. So, you know, Pat will be hoping that yesterday's something that they can build on. You know, he won't be sitting back and thinking, great, we've got a victory. He'll be wanting more, he'll be trying to build more. Pat's uh, job remit was to keep them safe, get them... And you know, keep him in the SPL for next season, and he'll be hoping that starts yesterday. Good result, and they can push on from here. We did wonder whether money might be the difference between Hibbs and Dunfermline, and and Hibbs' ability to to pay wages for for that sort of quality of player coming on loan from the Premier League in Tom Soar's case, for instance, and and Dunfermline.